Welcome to the HeadShop 2024 video tutorial. What is HeadShop? HeadShop is a photo to 3D plugin for Daz Studio, working inside Studio. The first HeadShop was sold by Daz in 2007, and we have created a new version every year since. The longevity of the product is in great part the result of listening to user input and adding features that are user suggested. For example, two of the new additions to HeadShop 2024 came from user Ray H, who wanted sculpt support for older Genesis models and also a lower price. Congratulations, Ray, you got it. Simple operation, difficult photos. In this first part of the tutorial, we'll focus on a simple mapping using the Genesis 8 figure. While the process is simple, the photo is not. We choose a photo that causes problems with competing software, as it is a portrait with the head turned and tilted, and also featuring an open smile. We will start in DAS Studio with Genesis 8 Female on stage. From the Edit menu, we launch HeadShop plugin. You will see a Teach panel pop up to inform you of the upcoming screen. These panels can be turned off via the radio button on the lower right corner. In the New Project screen, you need to choose your Genesis figure that was loaded and also choose a photo to work with. Load a photo. HeadShop finds 35 landmark points on the photo and also auto-detects the gender. Click Apply. The work screen loads with five tabs on top. In the front tab, use the smooth slider to smooth the 3D head. The navigational cross lets you view the head from different sides and the zero button even aligns the 3D head with the photo. You can use the mirror buttons to mirror the best side over to the other. On the next tab, AutoSculpt gives you access to 10 libraries of shapes. Given the young features of the woman here, we may choose not to use many. Don't worry, there will be ample opportunity to add other shapes in DAS Studio. The export button closes HeadShop and loads texture and shape to Genesis 8 in Studio. As promised, we can experiment with shapes. Shapes are loaded to parameters morphs. It is a good idea to turn off the texture to better see the shapes. When all is done, you can render your head.
advanced operation topography. In this second part, we will show you how to add specific topography shapes to a 3D head, an area where HeadShop excels via AutoSculpt. AutoSculpt works like a police sketch artist, going through typical features like forehead size, nose shape, mouth shape, creases, chin shape, etc. Unlike with competing apps, HeadShop users can apply from a library of 230 shapes to a 3D head, creating a 3D sculpture to fit with a texture map. Clicking the BW button turns off the texture. Without texture, the head still looks young. After adding old and fat, we move on. No worries, we'll have an opportunity to fine tune the topo in Daz. Back in DAS Studio, we will add shapes via Edit, Figure, More Floater Pro.
The sculpting process involves adding and subtracting shapes until we are satisfied. Once you are done, you can start to render. Thanks for watching.